Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of News in Two Minutes, bringing you the news that you need to know every day. Let's begin. Millions of Egyptians broke into cheers and celebration as the military released word that it had, under popular demand, relieved President Morsi from power, showing the world what can and in some places should happen when governments display unceasing control over their citizens. The U.S. State Department issued an immediate alarm urging all U.S. citizens to seek shelter or leave the country while the nation's constitution is suspended and a transition for political power is made. President Obama issued a statement Wednesday urging the military to allow the citizens of Egypt to decide the ultimate fate of the country's political structure. The president went on to express concern, saying that it was the military's decision to remove President Morsi from power, failing to mention that 30 to 45 million of the country's 82 million residents took to the streets demanding the president's resignation. The peaceful revolution uncovered a prodigious amount of anti-Obama sentiment throughout the people of Egypt, with signs calling the West's support of the Muslim Brotherhood a support on terror, and hundreds of people holding signs crossing the U.S. president's face out in accompaniment to their own leader. Solar activity on our skyward giant continued to impress sun watchers today as multiple C-class solar flares as well as one M-class flare have been detected within the last 24 hours. The M-class flare, which erupted at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday morning, comes to us from Sunspot 1785 on the sun's southeastern limb, and we wait to see if any of the current active regions will be capable of generating another M-flare today. City officials say that a water main broke this morning, causing a 25-foot deep and 15-foot wide sinkhole to open up on Interstate 75 in Ohio, plunging a 60-year-old woman and her vehicle into the hole. We are seeing an increase in major water main breaks and collapses throughout the United States, with these articles just a few of the masses that have been published within the last seven days, all quoting officials that say they're unsure of the cause. We joined the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in seeking deviations from the normal range of ground movements within the affected states that may pinpoint an uptick in ground level tectonic activity as the cause for the breaks and an explanation of recent activity. And to wrap things up, countries around the world are increasing their riot training as citizens take to the streets to show their discontent. Small earthquakes continue to shake Alaska, where a nearby Pavlov volcano continues to settle. The euro fell to a one-month low as Portuguese bonds dropped, making economists quote new market uncertainty. Oil prices fell but remained above $101 per barrel as general unrest continues in Egypt. And the Belgian king abdicated his throne to his eldest son as power continues to change hands across the world. And that's it for this episode of News in Two Minutes. Check back tomorrow for more news that the awareness the most. This week's News in Two Minutes is brought to you by shtfplan.com, where even the officials go for news, and sqmetals.com for all your precious metal needs.